Okay, well, welcome back to week 14 video, um, lecture videos. We are talking about searching and sorting this week, and this video is going to be about binary searching. Um, so we're going to jump in here and talk about binary searching, and um, I really like binary searching. It's actually really fun. Um, you probably have not seen this before, and if you have, then, um, then, um, then that's great too. Um, but one thing that you need to note, and this is a good thing for your that you should write down somewhere or have handy is that with a binary search you need to have it in order okay so um so um, all of the elements in a binary search should be in order in in order for the search to work correctly okay because what we're going to be doing is comparing um um, different parts of the array to determine whether or not that key is in the array. So we have three different cases in a binary search. Okay, um, essentially what we're doing is checking the key with the middle element of our array. So if the middle element of our array and the key um, equal, then our search ends with a match. If the key is less than the middle element, then we only need to search the key in the first half of the array. So we're eliminating half of the array to even search. Whereas with um, a linear search, we are actually sequentially searching the entire array until we find it or we don't find it, okay? Um, in this case, with the binary search, we're actually splitting the array into halves each time we go through, each time we iterate through it, okay? So if the key is greater than the middle element, once again, we are only going to search the upper half of the array this time, and we're gonna eliminate the lower half of the array. So let's take a look and see what, what this looks like um, visually. Um, so we have this array called list, and then we have a key, which is the number, of, the number eight, and we're searching our list for the number eight. Um, so just like we were talking about um, in the algorithm when we were explaining the algorithm, we're going to look for the middle element, which is the number four. Okay, so um, now we found the number four and we determine is key greater than four, is key less than four, or key, is key equal to four. And with the number eight, we know that eight is greater than four. So now we eliminate that first half of the array. So we actually move our mid point to the middle between um, the six and the nine. Okay, so our low point becomes the number six. Our high point is still the number nine, but now we've changed our midpoint to the number seven. And we're gonna check and see is eight equal to seven? Is eight less than seven? Or is eight greater than seven? And we know that eight is greater than seven, so we have found a match, okay? Um, so once again, I'm gonna post these slides to the CS163 and CS164 Canvas pages. So you can go and, and grab these URLs and take a look at these um, uh, visually on your own um, if you like. Um, but let, let's jump in here a little bit further and, and, and take a look and see what's going on. So. Um, in looking at the binary search a little closer, we have a larger array, and our key is 11 this time. So we're looking for the number 11. Um, we've set our low to the very first element of the array and our high to the last element of the array, and then we determined our midpoint, okay? Um, so when we, um, when we check to see if key is less than the midpoint greater than the midpoint or equal to the midpoint, we see that key is less than the midpoint, so that eliminates the upper half of the array. So now we can move our low and our high to, the low actually stays the same, it stays in the same place, but the high now moves to the element to the left of the midpoint because we know that, um, that our key did not equal that mid, that last midpoint. So we know that we've eliminated that, so we don't need to use it anymore. Um, so we're actually going to the next element to the left of that midpoint 
and making that our high point, okay? So now we're gonna take the middle element between elements zero and five, which would be the number seven, and we're gonna check and see is 11 equal to the number seven? Is it greater than seven or is it less than seven? And we know that seven, we know that 11 is greater than seven, so now we're gonna move our low, mid, and high points to eliminate another part of the array, okay? Um, so because it didn't equal to seven, we're gonna move our low point up to the next element in the array. Um, our high point stays the same, and now we're gonna find the midpoint between those two values. The midpoint is element four, and we're checking to see if our key equals 11, which it does. And so, um, so now we've found our key within our list, okay? So here's an interesting problem. So now we have a number that doesn't actually exist within the array. So what happens? Um, so we're still gonna go through the same process that we do with the binary search. We're gonna check and see um, where that key is within the array. And so we can see that it would be in the upper half of the array because it's greater than 50. Um, so we eliminate part of the array again. Um, but we're gonna go through the process again here. You can see we're going to eliminate 50, move that low point up and check the midpoint of that upper half of the array. And we know that it's less than 66, so we're gonna move our midpoint to um, the number seven and um, we know that it's not not to the number seven, to the element in in the seventh, the seventh element, the the number in the seventh element is what I meant, um, and the number in the eighth element too. Um, so you can see that now our um, um, our array is much smaller, or the, the options for um, looking within our array is much smaller. So we know that 54 is not um, equal to 59 or 60, um, but it should be in this element at um, in, in this place of element six, right? So that's where it should be. Um, so what we're going to return with a binary search is, the, is very similar to the linear search where we're gonna return the index of the element in the list um, if it matches. If there is no match though, we're not gonna just return negative one. We're actually gonna return the insertion point minus one, okay? Um, so the insertion point is the point at which the key would be inserted into the list, okay? Um, so a little different than that linear search, um, and uh, but equally interesting and fun too. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm also going to post another dancing video so you can um, take a look at that and see how that looks. Um, again, a fun visual just to see what that looks like. Um, and then I will pick up our videos on the next um, in the next lecture, and we'll talk a little bit about sorting now, since we've just talked about searching, we'll talk about the selection sort, okay?